perspective thank you guys very much for joining me and thank you guys too for all of your views all of your subscribes all of your likes and all of your great comments too um and thank you too for sending your best wishes our way you know the little one had the upset stomach there it's, she wasn't really sick she just she keeps putting stuff in her mouth like tucker's toys if you guys watch frankie's just terrible you know who tucker is the little dog like Tell that kid a million times over, don't put the dog's toys in your mouth. It's bloody gross. It's going to make you sick. If you guys have kids, you also know they don't freaking listen. So <laughs> that's what happens. And you wind up with diarrhea in the morning. So it was super fun. That was a good way to start the day. <laughs> so we did miss our live read uh, because of it. But I, after an hour or so, she was feeling better. Her tummy was okay. And she was ready to go outside and play again. Uh, Alrighty, guys, let's go ahead and get started with your tarot read. I'm getting told tokens. So uh, we're not going to start with the letters or the numbers today. I just, I wasn't feeling the call. Uh, my guys weren't telling me to use those, uh, but we are going to use the tokens here. So I'll give them a noisy little stir. I know I cringe, they're pretty noisy. And we're going to grab three like we always do. So one, two, and three, that one was right at the top. So let's see how we start our read off. So we do have the death coin. So it tends to represent... Uh, transition, change, closing the door on one chapter, beginning a new one. Um, I will tell you, I'll pour, pull more coins, but I am getting told the word health when I look at this one. It almost never happens uh, where this is connected with, you know, the physical body or health or somebody passing away. But somebody might be going through, through a rough time with health. Uh, we do have the devil coin as well. And we have the high priestess too. The high priestess is kind of she who knows. It's your intuition. Uh, it's that spiritual side of things and a higher force. The devil coin can be a destructive force. This might be why I'm getting pulled to sort of this health warning with the death coin. Uh, maybe something somebody's got something going on in their life that's toxic or not healthy for them. Um, and it could be sort of wearing them down, wearing them down sort of mentally, emotionally. I think you guys all know when we get really stressed out like that, it does kind of open us up to the more physical symptoms, right? Feeling tired, feeling exhausted, maybe having, you know, upset stomach. Uh, like it can lead to, to sleeplessness. It can actually open you up to real health issues because it does wear your body down. Uh, we're going to grab this one. This is the deck I'm getting pulled to. This is your Oracle deck. It's beautiful. Uh, Elemental Oracles. One of my favorite decks. I love the art in this deck. So we'll go ahead and get started here. Atoms. Building. Building, building, building. Outer core fluidity. I get an Empress vibe with this card. I think somebody's going through changes. I see changing. I see big stresses within this change. So this might be like rebuilding after a period of something bad happening or something sort of coming apart that um, someone was trying to build. It's like a tower happened. Uh, we're having to rebuild after a tower came about. Um, I even feel health in this outer core. There might be possible health issues too that somebody's looking to recover from. This figure is not wearing any clothes. She's kind of stripped down. So it might be speaking of sort of that, that basic health. I keep feeling like stripping away, stripping away, stripping away. Um, yeah, we got wind, which is change that can represent chaos. I keep feeling like I'm getting pulled to health here, guys. I don't like these kinds of reads because I don't want to scare people or freak people out. Um, but I have to see what the cards are telling me. I... I do see that there can be recovery here. I do see that somebody can be healthy. But I keep getting warnings about health, somebody's health, health causing a big shakeup in somebody's life or poor health causing a big shakeup. I don't know what what kind of health issue this is, if this is something um, more serious that requires, you know, a lot of medical treatment and there could be big bills and this might be part of what shakes things up. Or if it's a bunch of crazy shit happened and stressed somebody out and it sort of led to health issues too. We'll have to keep pulling more cards. But that's the thing that just keeps standing out to me the most. Health, health, health. Fire. Uh, I keep feeling like somebody needs to find their fight here too. Because I think there's, I think there's worry. And I almost get this acceptance. Um, I get told to don't give up. 
So I don't know what some, honestly guys, I don't know what somebody's facing here. The cards are not telling me that rock endurance, but somebody's getting told to dig deep and to find their fire and to fight that rock endurance. So whatever's going on here, I feel like somebody has the potential to be able to heal and come through it. But part of that is going to be the fight. Part of that is going to be a determination to fight um, health. Um, they need to rearrange their home too. Somebody needs to re rearrange their home life in a way that's going to help with healing, help with rest, help with recuperation. So if there's um, if there's toxicity in the home life or toxicity and perhaps even a job in something that they're doing, this is going to have to get sort of removed or cut out or changed because it will take away from somebody trying to heal. It becomes like this, this devil coin. It can stop somebody's process of recovery. I feel a pretty big warning in this read. Like I said, I don't like reads like this. I don't, I don't want to scare people when I do these reads. Um, but, but I have to say what Tarot is saying. Yeah, boys, oceans. I don't know if somebody is has trouble sort of speaking their truth or setting boundaries with others, which leads to leads to situations that are stressful because someone gets um someone gets angry or they get resentful or feel like they're getting taken advantage of and it sort of like wears and wears and wears on somebody. In this situation with, with this health, what's going on with somebody's health. Uh, I feel like th it's very important for them to speak their word. This is going to be part of them staying healthy. This is going to be part of them establishing a healthy environment in which they can recoup and recover. Uh, oceans, bravery. I, and I feel like this is this is a scary time for someone. I keep getting it scary. Uh, oceans, bravery. So as this is like have courage and be brave. You can navigate this. Find your fight. Find your fire and find your fight to stand up for yourself, to establish your boundaries with others, to cut out toxicity, and to look after your own interests here uh, because your health may depend on it. So it's very important someone's being told to sort things out here. Time. With this time card, uh, it sometimes it can represent to use our time wisely or it, the time has come um our time in the physical world is is limited so it's important to choose what we do with them i keep feeling like time has not been set in stone so whatever this illness is that this person's going through like this has the potential to change God, i don't like saying this because it's I'd, like i said i don't want to scare people but i feel like it has the potential to um change the length of time that they are here in the physical world it can wear their health down that much like it is a pretty big threat so it is time for somebody to get real in finding their voice in to stand up for themselves speaking their truth it's like holding it back has almost become almost like um a cancer it's kind of like like i said it's like this devil coin it's a detrimental force it takes away from them it wears them down it adds to unhealthiness uh, if this person can find that courage and find their fire to fight and to speak their truth and speak their word and arrange their life in a way that removes toxicity and it's kind of like making a sanctuary for themselves for healing and recouping I keep getting that that time will change and then we have more length we have more time because somebody's doing what they need to do to keep that health or to make themselves healthy magic pressure the west is completion um i do feel I'm trying to figure out how to say this it's not going to make people angry or hurt people's feelings there's there is negativity in this person's life there is toxicity in this person's life and part of everything that's happening is a push for them to make a change and to learn to speak their word and to push negativity away and to push toxicity away it's like bringing that chapter of things to an end and starting a new chapter in which this person finds their voice they find their fire they find their fight uh, they redefine how they're going to be living in the world and they're not going to take shit from anybody that as 
it's a very important part of this person's journey and this person's health to be able to make this change in this transition. Magnetism, East, which is beginnings, and animals, which is companionship. Um, I don't always get like, okay, it says animals, it's about companionship. I don't always get that as anything to do with animals. Uh, that may be a different story in this read. There may be a need to uh, seek a, a furry companion here. Someone who's going to be loyal, you know, like I'm not, I'm not crapping on people. I'm not, people are people, there's really good connections that we can have out there, those are worth nurturing. Um, sometimes people can have their own hang-ups and their own baggage, and if you kind of compare them to animals, animals are a little bit different. They kind of love us unconditionally. They don't have sort of that deeper thinking and the, the emotional baggage and the crap that a lot of people have. I keep feeling like this might be an important connection for somebody. Animals, an animal companion. Um, because there is, there is toxicity that does have to do with people energy. That is what this person needs to be removing from their life. I don't know if this is at work. I don't know if this is in the home life. But I feel like this needs to be gotten rid of. Whatever this is needs to be gotten rid of because it can cut somebody's lifeline a lot shorter. It's going to add to the sickness. It's going to add to what somebody's got going on here. And they're not going to be able to recover like they could if this thing was not there if this toxicity was not there there is a need to create a sanctuary for someone's self um companionship companionship i think somebody i keep feeling like an animal i don't know like somebody's getting a pet or somebody should go get a pet did i get an animal vibe off of that part uh, i also feel with this magnetism card um, if somebody does choose to go out and do this, to take on, you know, a, a little fur baby, a fur pet, I, I keep feeling like they're just going to know when the right one comes along. They're going to feel a connection. It's like a little soul connection, a little instant soul connection with a critter. And they're going to know that's the one that they're supposed to take home. And that, that critter will absolutely add to this person's life. I 100% believe that. Uh, we're going to grab a tarot deck, sort of dive a little bit deeper into your read here. Uh, which deck? That's the one that belongs. Okay. One did not want to come with the group. So that's the first one we're going to grab. If it doesn't want to come up with the deck, it means it wants to come out. It is the Eight of Cups. Somebody is in, being encouraged to start a new chapter in which they put their health first. I feel like there's things that need to be left behind in this new chapter. I do feel like it speaks to other energies like people. Like I said, I don't know if this is work. I don't know if this is in the home life or the personal life. But there are very toxic people around, toxic energies that need to be left behind so that this person can start fresh. This person can do some healing. This person can do some building. We're going to grab a few more here. So, Spirit, can you please give me more for this read? The world. And the King of Swords. I keep getting a coldness off of the King of Swords, too. Um, he's not... He's not emotionally supportive, that's for sure, uh, to other people's needs around him. He just feels very cold. Uh, I feel like disregard. It's disregard for the emotions or the needs of anyone. Uh, when I reach into his energy, I feel like he adds to burdens. Or the way he treats people adds to their burdens. Um... It's not particularly kind. It's not particularly thoughtful. This may be the one who's bringing toxicity into somebody's life. It's like they don't give the recognition and reward that somebody needs. So if this is a, a romantic relationship, there isn't the there isn't the softer feelings and that deeper connection and the I love you and you're a good person. And it's not like trying to help to build somebody up, whoever their partner is. Um, I just feel like they're in their own world. This is this King of Swords is somebody who's in their own world. They're not thinking about what this other person is going through because I feel like this person has a lot weighing on them. A lot. They have a lot on their minds. And I, I feel this sense of, like, I know there's other energies around this person, but I keep 
feeling this sense of kind of like being alone and like the weight is all on my shoulders to be like this is how this person is feeling they're the ones who are carrying all the burdens they're the ones who are carrying all the worries um whoever this king of swords is he's not giving this person the recognition that they need uh, uh it's like emotional detachment and i feel a rift because of the way this king of swords has been and because of now the heavy burdens and what somebody's dealing with i feel this rift here this rift oh, wait page of pentacles and the ace of swords and even in this page of pentacles i feel a smaller offering like not enough this is no longer enough for somebody whatever this king of swords had to offer in the past somebody kind of uh, may do they were okay with it but now it's like it's not enough it doesn't feel like enough to give somebody what they need give me some more here please spirit the five of swords i see somebody struggling with their own thoughts too struggling and this is this is why this voice card came out with the speaking your word is that somebody doesn't speak their word it's like they think all these things on the inside they feel all these things on the inside but they never release it and it's building and building and building i keep feeling like it's this is part of the contributing factor to this person's health or having poor health or not being able to recover properly it's because they seem to keep it all on the inside instead of speaking it out this person needs to speak out their truth uh whatever that truth is the king of swords they need to say it to the king of swords see we have the devil card here along with the devil coin this is like i said i don't like scaring people but i have to say it and i especially feel it in this devil coin if somebody doesn't make changes to the way that they're living their life and speaking their truth and creating sanctuary for themselves their health is going to get worse their health will get worse that is what tarot is saying it's a very serious situation for somebody and and taking back their power is important this it's like it's eating them away this person needs to find their balance and they need to i keep feeling sanctuary i feel meditation i don't know if yoga is a part of this this person needs to start doing things to create a space for themselves to be happy and get balanced it will improve their physical health as well so removing that toxicity removing those stresses being able to speak their word so that they're not holding it in and it's not sort of contributing to stresses and burdens being able to just release it and get it out there this is going to help somebody find their balance find their balance find their zen it's time for a change it's time for a change i feel like this is something that someone's afraid of doing I don't know why somebody's afraid of doing this maybe they're afraid of sort of how other people are going to react if they start speaking their truth um because i feel this this fear of just letting it out there of the consequences that will come from just speaking it out there speaking what what i'm thinking saying what i'm feeling uh, so i do feel like this is what somebody's struggling with they're struggling with the fear of it uh with the consequences that can come from saying it out loud uh, but from not saying it out loud it brings consequences as well and the consequences are contributing to somebody's poor health absolutely five of pentacles poor health poor health poor health poor health you know i feel like there's other things going on here too this isn't just like somebody going through a depression or somebody feeling sad or worn out or stressed out there is something deeper an underline here like i keep getting very serious there's something very serious here whether somebody realizes that it's happening uh or not or they've had something very big happen a very big medical thing and are trying to heal from that like there are some serious health issues going on here this is like i said this is more than just depression but the depression is running somebody down and making it like impossible for them to get healthy that's why we have that time card and like shortening somebody's timeline this situation is shortening somebody's timeline it's critical that this person gets balanced that they remove toxicity from their life and i keep saying sanctuary making a sanctuary for themselves they're going to have to be their own white knight in this case and start standing up for themselves justice balance balance fairness 
not allowing other people to take advantage of them, not allowing other people to overwhelm them, like compromising too much, um, giving in too much, letting everybody else, letting this King of Swords have his own way, whoever this King of Swords represents. And, and I do say his because he comes forward as a King of Swords, but that doesn't mean it's a man. This could be a woman just with a very masculine energy. I, I just feel like it's like this person has to get their way. Um, they're emotionally detached. They like to get their way. Um, they kind of overwhelm somebody with whatever their words are, like a right fighter. It's like they got to be, they always have to be right. This one always has to be right. They always have to have things their way. It's their way or the highway kind of thing. And somebody keeps compromising and compromising. And they keep their real thoughts and their feelings to themselves because they don't want to rock the boat because they know this King of Swords is not somebody who is open to hearing someone's opinions. They will just shut them down and run them over. This is part of what's contributing to somebody's bad health is this situation that they're in. They need to find balance. They can't be living in that kind of um, being run over all the time like that and bottling everything up all the time. It's contributing, like I said, it's contributing to poor health in a very real and I feel a very dangerous way. The Six of Cups. It is a very unhealthy cycle. Um, there's something more to this card. I'm trying to pull it from my intuition here. I'll show you the card. So it has the boy and his dog. Uh, just a puppy and then we come through all the cycles and we have the man and his dog and I know I can speak to memories from the past and good memories from the past there's something it's not that there's something deeper here there's something deeper about cycles here like repeating a cycle maybe a repeating a cycle they witnessed while they were growing up. So like generational patterns, uh, growing up in a situation where one person sort of overwhelmed the other person and it kind of became the norm and without maybe even realizing it, somebody sought out a situation that was similar or settled into a situation that was similar because it's what they know. Uh, Cause sometimes we do that and it's kind of subconscious. We don't do it on purpose. It's just, it's what we know. Um, we kind of just wind up finding ourselves and that we're like, oh my God, I swore I would never do this or I would never get into a relationship with somebody who was, who was like this person who I knew when I was growing up and yet here I am. Like I said, it's nothing that somebody does on purpose. It's a subconscious thing. So it's like this, this sort of need to be aware that we're repeating cycles. We're repeating cycles because I keep feeling cycles in the Six of Cups, very deep cycles. The Emperor. Where do you sit? I need to get more on that Emperor. Can you give me clarification on this Emperor card, please, Carol? That one and this one popped out too. Uh, the Star card, which represents clarity. Thank you. Uh, the Four of Pentacles holding back. Holding back. Um, yeah, this was a pattern that somebody saw growing up or that they lived with growing up. They witnessed. Uh, it was like, there was like this authority figure. One was like the Emperor. The Emperor got their way. They were in charge of everything. They dictated how life went and everybody just kowtowed to them. They were like, yes, okay, that's... Because if they didn't get their way, there was a big blow up. There was anger. And so everybody hold their, held their shit back. You got to hold it back. Uh, what you want, what you feel, it has to... You got to keep it to yourself because this person's going to get angry and this person's going to get mad. This was a cycle from somebody's childhood. Absolutely, this was something someone grew up watching. And unconsciously they wound up seeking it out later in life as an adult too. I think it's important to find that clarity too, to be able to see that because once you can see it and you're aware of it, it actually gives you the ability to change it because if you don't really realize it's going on, how are you going to change it, right? I think it's important to acknowledge that this was, this was something somebody did very unconsciously and now it's time for this change. It's time for a change. If somebody wants to get their health back, if somebody wants to get healthy again and find happiness and balance and fulfillment, they need to start taking ownership. This Queen of Wands is somebody who's very assertive. Okay, This is somebody with leadership qualities. This is somebody who takes ownership of their life and the direction that they're going in. Uh, she doesn't take shit from other people. She speaks her mind. This Queen of Wands speaks her mind. And I'll show you the card and you can see the art in that. That is, that is powerful. That is powerful. From speaking your mind, you gain power. 
And I do feel like this is what this person needs, who this read is for. Somebody needs to take their power back. Take their power back. And it may mean, and, and I know this is probably what this person is, is afraid of and why they've been avoiding it. It might mean a parting of ways with the King of Swords, whoever that King of Swords represents. It might mean that two energies part ways. And that might not be the ideal situation, but it's what's going to bring balance to this person's life. Like if that's what the King of Swords chooses, if this King of Swords won't step up and support somebody being assertive and speaking their truth and is not willing to change the dynamic of this relationship. So it's more reciprocal, right? Like it's an even give and take and there's more of a balance and they choose to get huffy and they choose to move away instead, then that's their choice. This this queen of wands who this read is for, this person cannot control what other people do. But it's up to them to make their choices and what they're willing to accept in life. The wheel of fortune, the nine of wands. The nine of wands can be like this, um, this wounded warrior. Uh, I see the image here, but I actually get pulled more to the image um, of the Rider White deck. Uh, it has the, the figure who has the bandage on his head. So he's wounded because I do feel like somebody's having pretty significant health issues. Uh, I think it's been over time or this, this health fight or this fight to get healthy has been over time. Or somebody's getting slowly worn down for a long period of time or has a long time of recouping ahead of them. Um, I just keep feeling that sickness over time. Sickness over time. And for the tide to turn and this person to start making positive progress and being healthy, there's a choice that they need to make. Right? They need to make this, bring this pattern to an end one way or another. This unhealthy pattern where they've, given their power over to this king of swords to try and keep the peace feel like now is a time to take their own power back in their life which card came flying out here yeah the three of swords i think somebody is absolutely worried about a separating or a parting of ways i think they're worried about this relationship with this king of swords going south this not working out um the thing about this Three of Swords, and I'll show you too, is yes, you can see the heart has been torn. I don't know if you can see the stitches in there. It does represent mending. This person can mend this. If this relationship with this King of Swords comes apart and these two people part ways, it will not be the end of this person. It will not be the end of their journey. It will not be the end of their life. They can heal from this. They can recover from it. But it's all about them being able to set boundaries and create a sanctuary for themselves. I actually feel their energy. I'm going to tell you I feel this Queen of Wands energy echoed in the King of Wands. So again, there is that leadership quality. There is somebody who takes ownership of their path. There is somebody who finds their drive and their fire. That's what it is. That's what I feel in him. I feel the fire and the determination to go on. The fire and the determination to get healthy. And part of that being healthy is setting those boundaries. Uh, this hangman tells me this person can find that help. The only thing that can stall their journey or stop their journey or cause a, a detrimental effect to their journey is themselves. Their fears, their doubts, their insecurities. There are no outside forces that can stop them. This person has more control of their life than they realize. This tower card is all about transformation. So this journey that this person's going through with these health issues, this will bring or has the potential to bring pretty big transformation to somebody's life. Uh, not just health wise, but who they are inside as a person at their deepest core. We have judgment, but it's a choice that this person needs to make. They need to start speaking that truth. The Eight of Wands is all about communication. Uh, the Eight of Pentacles is learning. Learning to speak their truth. Learning to take their power back. Not holding on to other people's baggage. Not settling for being treated like they're less than. The Ten of Cups. They need a safe sanctuary in which they can heal. This person needs to create their Ten of Cups. I keep feeling... Um, inner peace. I feel softness. I don't feel negative energies included in this Ten of Cups. This is that sanctuary that somebody needs to create for themselves. The Six of Swords. Um, 
moving from stormier times to calmer ones if somebody wants to make that progress and really find healing and get their health back they need to do some rearranging in their life is what the cards are saying uh part of that is like i said assertive finding their voice taking their power back finding that fire in their belly and that fight to move on and move forward to heal this person has the strength to do it is what tarot is saying they are strong enough for this battle they are strong enough to win this fight. They're strong enough to find balance. But there's things inside that this person has to tackle. And that's finding their self-worth, finding their fight, finding their voice, and not being afraid to speak that truth. And this is a, like I said, it's a journey that somebody's supposed to take because the potential is there for so much growth for so much healing I believe everything happens for a reason and I think this was a trigger to help somebody find the best form of themselves to be able to stop um, the generational cycle here and to start a healthier chapter for themselves in which they can find balance and they can find happiness alrighty guys that's your read